weapons. We do not want to shed bl What's happening here, soldier? These islanders want to enter a plot of land that belongs to the congregation. They are denying us access to the glade. We must heal it. Otherwise, this land will die. I am sorry, but we cannot let you enter this area. But we only want to plant some new trees. Bring life back. These people are fanatics, Your Excellency. Several woodcutters died last night. And I'm willing to bet that these savages had a hand in it. You are killing the Earth. So it kills you in return. All of you are cursed. Shut it, you savage! I am de Sade. I am the legate of the merchant congregation on this island. I came to shed some light on this affair. You said that some woodcutters died. Aye. They fell sick and died a few hours later. Well, the camp doctor will be able to tell you more about it. You'll find him in the barracks right here. Thank you, soldier. I'll go see her. Please, Your Excellency, you may come in. Do not force us. Hello, Doctor. I'm the legate of the congregation. I was told about the disputes caused by this camp, and a soldier told me that several woodcutters died recently. Yes. They got sick yesterday afternoon, and a few hours later they were dead. I couldn't do anything except watch them writhing in pain. None of my remedies worked. If seeing corpses doesn't bother you, you can come and see the bodies. They're here. I hope that whatever killed them is not contagious. These poor woodcutters look like they've suffered. This one has a swollen tongue. Blood at the corners of the mouth. There are some peculiar red patches on the bodies. His eyes are bloodshot. This man choked to death. A strong smell of ammonia. The entrails must have been perforated. So, what do you think? Do you recognize their disease? They didn't die of disease. They were poisoned. There's no doubt about it. You're probably right. But I've heard these savages talking so much about curses, so I thought it must be a mysterious disease, rather than seeing what was before my eyes. But how could these three men be poisoned? I'm not sure. Do their symptoms not point to anything? No. I've never seen such a deadly poison with these symptoms. Have you noticed anyone unusual here? Unusual? No. Did they drink anything in particular? Th they like to drink their fills in the evening. Life is dreary here. But if the poison was in the alcohol, I'd also be on the pile of corpses. What did they eat yesterday? Did they eat any mushrooms? No, no, we avoid that kind of thing. Uh, we don't know enough about the region's plant life. The congregation provides us with dry produce, otherwise we eat game. Yesterday they butchered a beast brought by the hunters. Hunters? Natives who bring us game regularly in exchange for knickknacks. But they've been restocking us for months. I struggle to believe that they're involved. Well, let's see what they have to say. Where can I find them? They usually hunt on the edge of the wood that leads to this camp. How can we earn our reward if you hunt our prey? 
We only defended ourselves. These beasts attacked us. But take them. We did not intend to eat them. Thank you. But what are you doing here, Renaikse, if you're not here to hunt? We were looking for you. Us? What do you want from us? Three woodcutters were poisoned yesterday after eating what you brought them. Poison? I swear we are not responsible for this. Listen, all the clues lead to you, but it may simply have been an accident. How about you tell me exactly what happened? It wasn't really an accident, but we did not want to kill them either. Then tell me how it happened. We did not decide to do this. We were trading beautiful things with the camp. But the Elder said that we would be traitors to our clan if we let the woodcutters cut down all the trees. Which Elder? One of the old men from Vigigidor, our village. He is very angry because we cannot heal the glade. He gave us the meat of an andrig killed by a venomous docentats. Its flesh is perfectly edible when prepared with certain berries, but without them, eating it would be lethal. And since the Renaikse invaded our forest, these berries are nowhere to be found. He wanted it to be a lesson for them, so that they may understand that their destruction brings death. I will not hold you responsible, but from now on you will no longer bring meat to this camp. You were the instruments of a hateful old man's vengeance. And I'm under the impression that there will be even more deaths if I do not get to the root of this problem. The Vagigido Elder thought it best to take vengeance into his own hands. I understand his anger, but Dunkus would not approve of this. He would say that bloodshed only leads to more bloodshed, and he wouldn't be wrong. This whole thing could turn into an open war. We cannot let that happen. Sir de Cossillon will be able to give some advice on how to solve this property conflict without violence. Sir de Corsillon. The sad day, my young student. What can I do for you? I've come to find you because I received a complaint from the natives of the village of Vigigador. They want to be able to access a clearing exploited by our woodcutters in order to heal it. To reforest it, I assume. But our men there say that it belongs to them and are refusing to let the natives enter it. The site was supposedly ceded to them several months ago. But tensions are running high, and some men have lost their lives. If we don't intervene, we're heading for a real confrontation. It is very regrettable, and I approve of your desire to appease this conflict. According to what you have told me, 
If ever there was a contract, it must have been signed under our former governor. You should go to the archives and verify this. Then go and talk to Lady Laureen de Morange. And of course, I'll be delighted to help you once things have been clarified. Thank you, Professor. Once more, you've been of great help. Can your old Professor still prove himself useful? Looking forward to seeing you again, Sir de Corsillon. Good day, my lady. Happy to see you again in such fine health. How can I be of service? I need you to enlighten me about the property deed of a glade near the Gigador. The natives want to access this place, which according to them is sacred, and which they would like to heal. But some of our men there are using this deed to deny them access to the area. Tensions are running high, and some people have died. Yes, there was a time when we enacted a lot of contracts. Do you have the document with you? Yes, here it is. Hmm. This session agreement is only signed with a cross on the native side. Well, writing is foreign to them. As is the notion of land ownership. For them, the earth only belongs to itself. If they did not possess these lands, how did they cede them? Well, I doubt they knew what this agreement represented, to be honest. In that case, why make them sign it? When we arrived on the island, we had to ensure our access to certain commodities. We also had to make sure that we had legal ownership of the lands we were occupying. The natives dreamed of possessing some baubles that they didn't know how to craft. It was easy to make them sign agreements that they didn't understand by giving them some. I was a stranger to their philosophy then. I only thought about my city, and I regret it. I'm sure we can fix this mistake. I hope so, Your Excellency. Come, let's find Sir de Corsilion. Can I help you with any other matter? My lady, I have to go. Goodbye. Sir de Corsilion, it's always a pleasure. Madame, I expect you've come to see me about this regrettable problem concerning a clearing, which my student told me about. Indeed, and I think I may have a solution that will allow us to solve this conflict peacefully. Hmm, I'm listening. I must admit that I established this at a time when the culture and the mentality of the natives was foreign to me. The clan of this village was rather open to our presence. They welcomed us with benevolence. For this reason, I think we should allow them access to these lands. In doing so, we would appease the tensions 
and we would also retain ownership of the wood. We would even benefit from such an agreement if the natives reforest this area. Then we could exploit it for a longer period of time. I find this decision perfectly viable, and I approve, but several men were killed, and their comrades will seek vengeance if the personal persons responsible do not pay for their crimes. I am convinced that Duncas, the chief of this clan, never approved such an action. I understand, but I will only write a decree allowing people to go to this clearing, provided the murderer is delivered to us. Thank you, Master. I will inform Duncas of your decision. Bertir Tumad. I am Duncas, the Mal and the Doné God of the Yigido. You're very strange for Renaise. Who are you? My name is de Sardé. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. You are a Lugayid Blau? Oh, I didn't know there were on al amongst them. They may not be so different from us after all. What brings you here on al -Manawi? At this old man's request, I investigated the conflict that opposes you and my nation regarding the clearing. You will now be able to access it freely to accomplish your rituals or heal the area. And the congregation will keep exploiting the forest. However, there is one condition to this new agreement. You must deliver this man to us, because he is responsible for the deaths of several woodcutters. These men died because of their own foolishness. No one else is responsible for their deaths. If they hadn't cut all the ochre berry trees, they would have survived. What does that mean? What are the two of you talking about? Three woodcutters died eating the meat of an andrig after it was killed by a venomous docentats. It's nothing but a terrible coincidence. And if they had eaten the ochre berries... We know that you're responsible for all this. The hunters told me everything. How could you do this? You acted more foolishly than an irascible adolescent. Boy, killing these men, you have brought upon us their wrath. And it is only natural that they should ask for justice. Duncas, I beg you. I only wanted the Renoixe to understand the value of the trees they were cutting. Bloodshed only leads to more bloodshed. And you know that. I would never have thought you capable of doing something so foolish. If you want to stop the woodcutters taking vengeance into their own hands, you must deliver this man to us. I understand. But I have one condition before we make this agreement. If the Lugayed Blau fooled us in the past, it is their turn to prove their good faith. What do you want from us? There is a mine in the forest that the congregation has long operated with help from my people. But digging into the mountain has risked it collapsing. We reinforced the earth with wood. We worked with the Lugayed Blau to save the mountain and the men. 
We agreed to stop digging and sealed the entrance with a boulder. But some Renaigse came back, and I think they started digging again. And some of my people started going missing. Perhaps because they had seen them break their promise. If the mountain collapses and it is your clan's fault, thousands of lives will be lost. And you want me to intervene? You have to stop them. Remind them of their promise. This is the price of my trust. If you do, we punish the person responsible for the death of the woodcutters, and all our quarrels will be gone. I'll go to this mine and see what's going on. Is there anything else? I must leave. Goodbye, Dunkus. Kwa Awalam Seg. Sorry, this is private property. I cannot allow you to enter. Actually, no one should be able to enter. This mine is doomed. It's terribly dangerous. I wouldn't know. Our employer, Mr. Mayard, is the owner. He's got all the deeds required. Listen, you should go to the authorities. They can confirm all the paperwork. I definitely will. Those guys must have no respect for the lives of their men to start mining again. These Renagze must not have taken us seriously. We should take a closer look.
We should take the path that overlooks the outer wall. We should be able to see inside from there. They broke the stone and started digging under the mountain again. They use captives from the villages to dig their mine. They've made them into slaves. We must talk to Sir de Cossillon. I hope our nation is not involved in this business. Sir de Corsillon. The sad day, my young student. What can I do for you? I've come to ask you about a mine near Vigigador. It was closed for a long time for security reasons, but someone has started exploiting it again. Hmm. I seem to recall that a concession in this area was sold to a master Maillard. However, I do not recall the details of the contract. It was established by the previous government. He is a rich merchant from Serene who arrived on the island only a short while before we did. People say that he is unscrupulous. Unscrupulous? That's an understatement. This man had some natives captured and he's using them as slaves to work in this mine. What? Does this old brigand really think that he is above the law? We cannot tolerate such methods. But... We must determine the best way to attack him. You should start by finding the deed to his property in the archives. Don't worry. We'll not let this man's behavior go unpunished. Can your old professor still prove himself useful? Looking forward to seeing you again, Sir de Corsillon. you can't decipher the glyphs of your own people's document. I get lost in all the legal jargon, but they have Lady Morange's seal on them. We should find her to understand exactly what they say.
day, my lady. Happy to see you again in such fine health. How can I be of service? I need your advice once more. This time it's about the property deeds of a plot of land and of a mine acquired by a certain Maillard. Here are the deeds. I must admit that I understand very little of what's written, but your seal is on it. Hmm, do not worry. This type of document is always difficult to decipher for the uninitiated. However, they are very clear. Master Maillard is the owner of a plot of land located near Vigigador. He can exploit the forest and plant anything he wants there, but it says here that he does not have the right to exploit the mine. It's even repeated in this other paragraph. Any attempt at mining on this land is forbidden. And yet, the mine located on this plot of land has been reopened and is being exploited as we speak. According to these documents, the mine has been closed for security reasons. This man's behavior is reckless. You should go see him. He's presently in New Serene. He usually spends time at the port when he comes. He has some warehouses there. Come closer, good people. The cure is Master Maillard. Who's asking? De Sardé. I am the legate of the congregation. Well, I'm flattered. What brings you here, Your Excellency? I'm here to talk to you about the mine you have near Vigigador. Are you aware that you have no right to operate it? Nor are you allowed to employ slaves there. But what are you talking about? Surely this is a misunderstanding. Listen, I'm sure there is a way for us to get along. I'm an honest merchant. I've always paid all taxes, and the small bonus is needed. Please tell your cousin that I would be happy to send him the gift of his choice. Now, Your Excellency, if you will allow me, I have to get back to my activities. I'm afraid you don't understand, Master. It's not a money problem. That mine is dangerous. And you endanger the congregation on this island by behaving this way with the natives. Come on, don't be so serious, young woman. I'm sure it's nothing that a small bonus can't fix. Goodbye, madam. Best wishes to your cousin. De Corsillon. The Sade, my young student. What can I do for you? I verify the contract with Lady Morange. The exploitation of the mine is illegal, as we expected, without even taking into account what he's doing to the natives. I then went to meet Master Maillard. So, what did he have to say in his defense? He turned a deaf ear and tried to bribe me. Oh, some of these merchants are so rich that they forget basic decency. But it's high time we reminded him of who is in charge of the congregation on this island. Here, this is an eviction notice which dispossesses him of all his land for breaching his contract. For his crimes against the natives, he's banished from this island. I will make him aware of this decision, but you should go to the mine immediately. The prisoners must be freed as soon as possible, and the mine closed once more. I'll take care of it. Can your old professor still prove himself useful? Looking forward to seeing you again, Sir de Corsillon.
sorry, this is private property. I cannot allow you to enter. I don't need your authorization. I have here an eviction notice signed by the governor's ministers. The former owner, Mr. Maillard, has lost his rights due to a breach of contract. Look, ultimately, we are not the ones who decide. We only obey the boss's orders. In that case, where can I find him to notify him of his loss? You'll find him around here somewhere, Your Excellency. Excellent. Are you looking for trouble? You'd better be... Master Maillard, I'm so glad to find you here. Here is a document from Sir de Cossillon on behalf of my cousin. Considering the fact that you have not respected the terms of your contract of ownership, you are hereby expelled. The methods you used against the islanders has also ensured your banishment from Tierfredi. Impossible. By what right? Guards, this woman threatens me. These people were monsters. I wouldn't cry over them. Come now, let's go free my brothers, and we can tell Dunkers everything. Without fear, you are free. And know that we are sorry for what happened to you. We must believe that not all of their blow are alike. She is an on all Manawi. That's why she understands us. Thank you. We will not forget you. What brings you here on Almanawi? I was able to close the mine. The man who operated it was arrested and will be banished. Yes, those you freed told me. From now on, you are my parents, my friend. You knew how to renew my trust in your clan, just as trees grow back after being cut. Thank you, Dunkus. I am honored. Will you give us the old man now? If you allow it, I would like to punish him myself. Enough blood has been spilled, and he will only call for more of it, since he loved the forest to the point of killing for it. 
he will be sentenced to heal it. Every day he will replant what your men will cut down. Every day until the end of his life. Does this punishment seem acceptable to you? If I explain to Sir de Cossillon that the man was sentenced to forced labor, I suppose he will approve. Thank you, Duncas. It is a wise sentence. Is there anything else? I must leave. Goodbye, Duncas. Qua awalum seg.
Greenblood, my friend. The letter we found in Rolf's office was signed by a man whose name I'm familiar with. Herman. I know he's responsible for what happened in this camp, as well as many other crimes. I'm gonna find him and make him pay for what he's done. I know that he's in San Mateus. Another time, all right? Anything else? I must leave you. <laughs>